Doha Climate Talks are heading towards the end of the first week. Delegates now are really focused on narrowing down the options that will be put towards ministers when they arrive on Sunday to try and ensure that they have clear choices around the key political decisions that will need to be made at this meeting to ensure it has a successful outcome. Tension is rising in the meeting. There are some difficult issues that need to be resolved um, over the next week and a half. While we're making progress in some areas of the Kyoto Protocol, there's a key outstanding issue around will countries who don't take on second commitment period targets have access to the carbon markets under the treaty. There's also a key issue about how we resolve the long-standing problem that for some countries under Kyoto who received over-generous targets in the first commitment period, they have excess units or credits that they could sell and use in the second commitment period or even indeed in the new global treaty that would undermine the environmental integrity of the scheme. That said, we have also had some positive discussions in recent days around how we can increase the ambition that countries are taking, um, including not just increasing targets but also looking at the issue of should we be complementing this processes to phase out the subsidies to fossil fuels, which account for over $500 billion a year? Are there other innovative ways that we can be driving short-term emission reductions, such as taking action to tackle some um, greenhouse gases, which while very short-lived in the atmosphere, are also very powerful? And many of these gases, for example, are used as substitute for things like CFCs that, that destroy the ozone layer. So as we head into the final final days before ministers arrive, negotiators are really focused on concentrating text, coming up with solutions to problems. And the role that we need from countries who are looking for a good outcome from this meeting over the next day or so is to come forward with progressive proposals that would allow the talks to move forward and at the same time ensure they have climate integrity.